We open on a simple yet confusing scene. Two strangers waking up before one another with no memory of each other or how they came to be in the predicament they find themselves in now, locked in a room with no windows or doors. Unsure about how to proceed from here, they stare at one another until they become aware of the obvious zero button at the center of the table. What could this be? Perhaps they should press it. However, it gives them each an uneasy feeling. Or is that the uneasy feeling from the looming presence in the room that they cannot define? Listen, you. And with that, the large man discovered a mysterious briefcase handcuffed to his wrist. I remember, you came to me for help. I did? I did. Why did I do that? The presence in the room. I don't think the voice was referring to himself. The large man was correct. There was something else inside the room besides the two of them. As the large man began to piece together their pasts, he realized that there was only so much he could pull from their appearances alone, and that there was no way of figuring out that their names were Tim and Gary. Well, he's obviously a Gary, so that must mean I'm Tim. Why am I Gary? You look like a Gary. I mean, you have a general Gary-like shape. And what shape is a Gary? A dodecahedron? You look like a Gary. No, no, no. You're obviously Gary. I don't even like the name Gary. Don't do that. Right, yes, no, of course not. Do you think he's done? Nope. All right, let's figure this out. He's probably coming through a speaker, and he has a camera on us, so no jerking off. Wait, why would I jerk off? Judging by your attire, you're an uptight office worker. High-pressed job and wearing the colors of someone trying not to be noticed. Okay, now me. Clearly I'm in a relaxed outfit, but if we were both taken at the same time of the day, which was during work hours, then I must be self-employed. Or unemployed. Don't be a dick. Out from the case, the large man pulled a tiny camera. He pointed it at the man at the time, who finally noticed the presence in the room, which had followed them from the beginning and it's exactly why they ended up here in the first place. All right, asshole, explain this. Before I had to create this place, you were everyday normal movie characters, ones who followed the rules and didn't go about noticing things like cameras, subtitles, or scripts. So why are we here? Why not just reinsert this in the story? By doing what? Taking you out of the narrative and erasing your memories? Sounds like it would work. Doesn't it? But someone had to be just a little too clever. The large man and the man in the tie wondered what the combination could be. A number he once knew well, but now escaped him like letters written in sand. How'd you know how to do that? The large man tried any old combination, but failed to realize the clue that sits before him. I'm a private investigator. A good one. Probably the best. You thought I was crazy. Nothing's changed there. Yeah, but then you called me, and you told me that they started following you too. I noticed its patterns. I'd, I'd found it. There was a document, something no one should have seen. That's right. You said you found out who was following us. What? What was following us? But you're not going to like it. Why? Because I didn't. What was it? I have no idea. I just remember I didn't like it.
Why does that keep happening? Did you see that? I did. That one with you at your office. Paranoid. That's right. I worked in insurance. I was investigating a claim. That's the first time I noticed I was being followed. But that's all I can remember. But that's why I came to you. Hang on. All right, six numbers. What do we have? Tim and Gary. Tim and Gary. No, that's seven. Seven numbers. Uh, maybe without the Y. Shut up, McLean. I'm good at this. Despite his best efforts, the large man cannot figure out any combination to the case and finally decided that their only lead was to hit the zero button at the center of the table. Nice try. This is a MacGuffin. It moves the story forward. But the voice wants us to go for the red herring. Communism? Therefore, the code is the MacGuffin. The code is MacGuffin, but without the U. So what does the button do? Don't press it. Oh, you don't have to press it anymore. The viewer can do it for you. Yes, you, out there, beyond the fourth wall. You, on the YouTubes. Hello, how are you? Would you mind doing us all a favor and pressing the zero on the keyboard? These two knuckleheads couldn't handle a difficult task like that. Yes? Wonderful. We'll all wait here for you. Go on now. <laughs>